Hello, good evening. Uh, welcome to another edition of Lighthouse Bite Size. Um, I hope this finds you well. Uh, if you want to get in contact at any point with us, you can always email in at hello at lighthousesharingham.org or you can find us on Facebook at Lighthouse Sheringham and uh, someone will get back to you. We're going to continue our theme uh, this week on uh, miracles. So when you finish this, go back and watch uh, last week's, which was part, kind of part one on miracles. But um, through all of this time, I, I just my, my prayer is that you're encouraged, that you're challenged. Um, at the end of the day, you want to just get out there and, and start praying for people and really see the manifest glory and presence of God uh, here. We believe he is alive. Here we believe he is well. We believe Christ is still on the throne and he's still doing miracles today. So enjoy these next songs, be inspired, and uh, I'm gonna just share a thought a little bit later on on miracles.
Saturday was silent Surely it was true But since when is impossible Ever stop you Friday's disappointment But Sunday's empty too But since when is impossible Ever stop you This is the sound of dry bones rattling This is a praise make a dead man walk again Open the grave, I'm coming out I'm gonna live, gonna live again This is the sound of dry bones rattling Pentecostal the fire Stirring something new You're not gonna run out of miracles anytime soon Resurrection power Runs in my veins too I believe there's another miracle here in this room This is the sound of dry bones rattling would have heard uh, the Great Commission and it's found at the end uh, towards the very end of the book of Matthew and a few places but Matthew being one of them um, <clears throat> but another one of those places is in the book of Mark now Mark is renowned for being you know quite driven uh, it's the shortest of the four gospels and um, so it kind of just it's like he, he comes back to life and all of a sudden it's like straight into the Great Commission he appears and, and you know and he, and he kind of uh, says this stuff just before dying off and, um, but the emphasis in what he says, so even though it's, it's based off the same talk, if you like, uh, so from Matthew 28, and then this bit's in Mark 16, it's, it's the same address, if you like, but the emphasis is different. And I just want to read you um, Mark 16, and I'm going to read from verse 15 and t- towards the end of this little chapter, towards the end of this little bit. And it says, and he said to them, Go into all the world and rep- and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. It's very similar so far. 
Verse 16, whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents with their hands. If they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message by accompanying signs. So the emphasis is slightly different. Same, same talk, same address, but emphasis is different. And particularly in Mark, what we don't find in Matthew is not only do we have this commission to go and proclaim the good news to the whole world. But there's emphasis on there will be accompanying signs. Like, there's a big old list. You can drink poison. You can do... And I'm not suggesting we put this to the test. I don't want anyone off the back of this video making up some weird concoction from the kitchen and, and seeing if God's still alive. You know, that's that's not what we're saying at all. Um, but the emphasis is still there will be accompanying signs. Miracles. And we've seen some. Some are definitely more common to me than others. Gift of tongues, uh, you know, as a, as a lighthouse, as a church, you know, we uh, it's very much part of when we gather together. Um, you can hear it of people uh, singing, praying, um, speaking in tongues. But a lot of the other signs, accompanying signs, as it's referred to in Mark, is not common at all. And it's it's really disturbing because for me, because I want it to be common. It's, I remember hearing someone say, you know, it's the supernatural, the naturally supernatural, or you know, wanting to become, wanting to make the supernatural natural. And I've said this before, um, when I was physically speaking uh, to the church um, one Sunday morning, and I was talking about um, miracles and gifts. And I said, I, you know, I met up with a, a friend of mine, um, but he's, he's quite a bit younger. We sort of meet up and do a bit of discipleship. Um, work together and I uh, just chatting with him and he's a 20 year old man and um, we were beginning to talk about miracles and he said oh do you know I just I've just never seen that and I kind of stopped for a minute and and, and I kind of then kind of asked him you know and quizzed him a bit more and pushed it a bit further and kind of said what, what, what do you mean like the particular thing I'm talking about which was the healing of a of a person's sight and I was remembering a story um, and, it, and but no, no, it was it was any miracle. I, I haven't seen that, like at all, like demons and and miracles, and I haven't seen any of that for twenty years. Now, what was more disturbing about this conversation that was that he has been a Christian for the whole time, like he has been in and around the church of Jesus Christ for twenty years, but he has never seen a miracle. Now, I came away from that conversation. And question, I had a lot of questions. Um, initially, I was a little bit annoyed at God. I was like, "What? What? How could you not? Like what?" Um, then I was amazed that he had stayed in and around church for twenty years, like without the power of Jesus Christ, the manifest glory of His presence. What do we have left? <laughs> like without the, without His His tangible presence and without miraculous signs and wonders church is boring like without like without god in it like what what's the point in it all like i was amazed that he had stayed faithful for 20 years without the presence of god and then i ended up realizing that actually it's got nothing to do with god and i started getting quite annoyed and I personally have to take responsibility. I am part of the Church of Jesus Christ. Now, he'd obviously grown up in a, a different area than, than me. But I have to take responsibility. You, if you are a Christian and you're part of the Church of Jesus Christ, you have to take responsibility. For this guy, 20 years had passed and he'd not seen any miracles. And I started to get, my heart had started to go out and I started to pray for the church. And I said, when will the church raise its head? Like when, when will the church reclaim ground that it's lost? When will the church stop operating like it should? When will the church go out and do the things that we were told to do 
and see the accompanying signs. And so that's why I suppose these last couple of weeks, I've just wanted to do um, a couple of weeks on God is alive. He is doing miracles because he is. And I see them and I pray for things and I see it happen, but nowhere near enough. I do not want to have another conversation with a guy like that that's had 20 years around the church and not seen any miracles. So this is a, a, a kind of a, a, a war cry going out to the whole church and saying, would you get on your knees and would you pray? Would you see those small moments in your day to day when you when you when you, when you think, oh, Holy Spirit, you could enter in in this conversation. A miracle could take place here. Would you have the faith and the courage to act, to pray? Step out your comfort zone to actually pray, to actually seek and to ask God for that miracle. I pray, church, that we see miracles, that 22 is a year of miracles. And I look forward to all the stories. Uh, I hope this has encouraged you. Uh, we're just going to have another song and, um, and then I'll come back in the end just to pray for us as, as we close. I 
I've seen cancer disappear I've seen metal plates dissolve Don't you tell me he can't do it Don't you tell me he can't do it I've seen real life resurrection I've seen mental health restored Don't you tell me he can't do it Don't you tell me he can't do it I've seen families reunited I've seen prodigals return Don't you tell me he can't do it Don't you tell me he can't do it I've seen troubled souls delivered I've seen addicts finally free Don't you tell me he can't do it Don't you tell me he can't do it I've seen cancer disappear I've seen metal plates dissolve
That's great. Thank you very much uh, for being with us um, this evening or whenever you're watching um, uh, this this YouTube video. Hope it's inspired you, challenged you, and um, yeah, to remind you again if you know you have been challenged or you know you, you want someone to pray with you or whatever it might be, um, do get in contact. You know, hello at lighthousesharingham.org or you can message us on Facebook. Find us on Facebook uh, or write it in the chat on this video, um, and hopefully someone will get back to you. If you email or Facebook message, someone will definitely get back to you. Um, so that's probably the better way to go about it. Uh, I'm just going to pray for us as we finish. Um, yeah, and then we'll, I'll let you go. Um, thank you, God, that you are still alive, that you're still on the throne, and you are still doing miracles. Lord, our hearts cry out is we want to see more miracles today. Lord, the miracles we read about, not only in Scripture, but the, the miracles we read about in, in other parts of the world, that you, you, know, you are, you are so, so alive and active and doing such miraculous signs and wonders today. Lord, we want to see that in our neighbourhoods. We want to see that in our, in our neighbours. We want to see that in our, our own lives, Father. So would you give us the strength, the courage, Lord, to step out and, and to be active and to do these things and to pray for, for these people? And Holy Spirit, would you just become famous again uh, in England? Lord, will we see you, your manifest presence poured out on this land. In Jesus' mighty, powerful name, we ask. Amen. God bless.